Welcome to another episode here, and I wasn't actually planning on recording tonight, it's like uh, just after midnight. I was just planning to get some uh, offline progress done while I watched some, some TV. And we got... The Hillocks of West Lancers has been found at a day's travel to the west, and is incorporated into your holdings. And that's pretty cool, because as you know, we... Oh, we have... Fickard, what do you need now? Fickard has nothing? That doesn't seem right. Well, we'll fix that in a minute. This guy wants robes. Well, we're making robes. And that guy wants armor stands. Okay, well, we can get on that. And I guess we'll have to reassign Fickard his nobles quarters. Because uh, this stuff here yeah, should be Fickard. An all processor has this room. I think not, son. So that should be everything. What does Fickard need now? What's he missing? No cabinets and he needs a cabinet. Okay, well. There you are then. I guess that's because he was um, sent on a raid, maybe? Doesn't retain ownership. So let's press C, let's take a look at the map. Is this... Dwarven... No, that's Spell Trumpet. That's Tempted Bridges. We're looking for West Lancers. Diamond Fortunes. Honor Boat. The Lorded Boris. Uh, take a look up here. Hmm. Maybe this one? Yeah, there's... Oh, Wet Lancers, not West Lancers. Well, we're uh, moving down towards the Goblin Territory, it looks like. These guys we're at war with. We're expanding, and it seems like they are as well. We are going to continue our raids against them, pretty much um, in perpetuity, to level up our military. And, of course, to steal things. We have, down here, begun just hollowing this place out to get our hands on some more stone and more galena so we can have more silver we're probably just going to use that for trade at this point and then we'll be trying to um yeah we'll be trying to steal and or buy as much armor and weaponry as we can from this point in because um you know we've, we've been getting by with silver for a while but it's not really ideal We have uh, quite a few derfs on the surface. Collect hive products. I like you. Everyone knows I have an unreasonable fascination with mead. You did miss while I wasn't recording. Um, something over here managed to catch fire. I'm not sure exactly how it happened. But the fire jumped around for a while. I activated a military alert. And then the fire stopped jumping around and that was it really. Didn't really think that was worth bringing your attention to. That bridge is still down, but we can wait for that. And then there's just some random pieces of wood and uh, plants out there that haven't been gathered. But we're in autumn right now, so there's not going to be too much to gather anyway. The, uh, the room in here... Let's zoom out a bit, shall we? The room in here is progressing nicely. And we even have our farm plot built, so we can now assign... You know what, let's go for dimple cups, and then just plump helmets the rest of the year. So that at least one part of the year we're getting something else. Dimple cups are used for, um, dyeing things, I believe. Food stockpile's looking quite nice. This other stockpile here has just got loads of stuff in. Stone stockpile's looking healthy. There's some random kid just sitting in the wood stockpile. What are you doing, kid? No health problems. What about your relationships? Well, you're the child of two serfs. Your older brothers are... Two of your older brothers are serfs, and this one's a peasant. You have one farmer of a sister. 
a beekeeper. Your niece is a legionnaire and you're a child. Dwarven families are weird. Just a bit strange. Can you imagine your niece is like three times your age? Walks in with a uh, spear and a steel shield. Just having killed a titan. Be a weird conversation to have, really, wouldn't it? So this guy is just stuck. We established last time that we actually can't make it to this forgotten beast. So every so often I'm just going to check on him. Make sure he hasn't found a way to us. He swam to where he is now. And we just couldn't really do anything about that. So I guess he's just going to stay there forever. I'm not going to bother trying to you know, build my way across to him. Because the guy has fire. And if he breathes fire on us. Then uh, we're not exactly going to be able to make a bridge towards him. Unless we were to make a, a genuine... Uh, like a genuine bridge. Not just a floor. What else do we actually have? These Drathla are um, basically subterranean cows. They can be useful if you have a um, trapper who can trap those for you. We have druids on the surface gathering plants. That is neat. -o. But you know, I think it's time for another raid. Let's, uh... We still at war with you. Yep, let's uh, raid this settlement. Oh. I don't know. I pressed A. I don't like it. Let's press escape. Look on the bottom. What does A do? Um, a is artifacts. Okay. Well, we're going to press R. And then we are going to raid Pterodon with squads A and B, the Armored Conjurers, and the Inks of Shooting. Off they go. And they've done well the past couple of times, so they should be fine again this time. Assuming they don't get seen and wake up an entire fort. Of course, their goal is just to sneak in and steal one or two things, so even if they do get seen, it shouldn't be a big issue. They should be able to just run back off the map. Stopped responding to the world. I think someone's just become, like, in a coma. Uh, I don't see anyone who's got, like, no jobs, so maybe it was... Well, it wouldn't have been a mood, because it would have taken me there, so I can only imagine the guy is in a deep, deep depression. Well, that sounds like a him problem, not a me problem. I think what we might do... Winter is upon us. Luckily, nothing freezes over for us. And even if it did, we have... Plenty of alcohol to go around. These saves are taking a while, but then everything's taking a while with this uh, this file right now. So up we go. And I think over the course of winter we are going to order a bunch more trees chopped down. Oh wow, a bunch of them are already slated to be chopped it's just that our woodcutters seem to be lazy I know we have enough axes so our lumber dwarves should be on that but I guess they just have better things to do let's find a lumber dwarf, what are you doing? you're drinking yeah, like I said we, we made a bunch of um, silver axes just recently so there's no reason they shouldn't be doing this two armor stands and three robes Actually, are you making robes? You are. We're actually going to uh, remove some of this stuff. We're just going to go with robes, hoods, socks, and shoes. Which uh, will cover a dwarf from head to toe. Still that random dwarf kid who just, like, two of them who were just hanging around in the stockpile areas. Kids are weird, man. We got rid of most of the um, chickens. I left enough to breed. Throwing a tantrum, good for you. But I didn't leave so many that we um, couldn't walk our own corridors anymore. 
Have we made any ballista arrows yet? I'm guessing we have, it's just they don't want any anymore. Tantrums seem to be the order of the day right now. Just, uh, nobody's happy. I could turn on the auto labor for a while. But I find that uh, it slows down production considerably. But it did seem to keep dwarves happier, so maybe it's worth it. Now that we're a little bit more established. Where are those guys going? Oh, just to the end of the map. For no apparent reason, okay. Oh. Well, it looks like the uh, crafts dwarves are beating up the nobles. Seize the means of production and all that. Let's go check the hospital, see if he ended up in there. Doesn't look like he did, so it can't have been too bad. Hey, Dusim has grown to be a peasant. You know what? I think we'll leave him as a peasant. And we may actually um, turn on auto labors for a while. So I'm seeing quite a few of those tantrums. The, um, the taverns seem to sort them out for a while. But then they kind of stopped. Struck more Galena. Didn't see that coming. We'll get those ballistas done eventually. Like I say, I wasn't actually planning on um, recording right now. So I haven't looked into ballistas too much just yet. How is the cave looking? What do we got down there? Still just the draffler. And we have those guys at the tavern who will be entertaining the dwarves. It's just more and more tantrums. We're getting into a big tantrum spiral here. So I think I am going to cave in. And I'm going to go up to DFAC here and go for automatic job assignments. I'm going to pause it and then all of the dwarves are probably going to spend a time just kind of shuffling around different jobs. But hopefully that will... Um, cheer them up a bit. The guys who want to craft can craft. And the people who are content can sit around in the uh, the tavern in the Great Hall. Is that a Dwarven Bowman? It might just be. Something I was considering. If Ballista Arrows can go up and down levels, this spot here would make a great spot for a Ballista to be manned. Legionnaire is going attached to his bronze shield. Good for you. Oh, a serf and a noble are punching each other considerably a lot. Are they still going at it? Jeez. No, I think, yeah, they just stood around vomiting on each other now. So if we now ask for our dwarf therapist, how do our labors look? Yeah, they are now all over the place. If we go to profession. No, it looks like they're still actually uh, assigned the way we assigned them. Well, I guess we'll just leave that for now. And if it wants to change them, it can. Seems like those guys have stopped fighting on the bridge. So that's pretty nice. Let's just go over to here and see what people are doing. Oh, someone's actually felling some trees. Nice. Good to see things are actually being done. I don't know how the auto labor kind of chooses what it does and when. It's enabled now. So it should be doing something. Performance tweaks? Yeah, sure, give me that too. So let's see. Uh, it might not apply unless we restart the game. 
in which case we'll just leave it for now. This should be a shortish episode anyway, we're just going to do a couple of raids. Which still aren't back, which is a little bit concerning. They were only traveling a day away. I wonder if we'll get an alert if they don't come back. What if they just don't come back? Is that a thing that can happen? I hope not. Also, I think we may have to leave Fickard here from now on as Captain of the Guard. We m it might not be best having him in a squad like of his own. Because he's basically the police, right? So maybe we um, grab another Legionnaire from out of the castle somewhere. Ah, they have returned. To take a look at the raid report here. Yep, we stole things without being seen. What do we get? A pedestal, some rope, a robe, a sword, a water skin, and another sword. Not the most amazing look to have uh, ever appeared. But it'll do. Let's actually go back down to the noble level and see if I'm right about Fickard's stuff just being like unassigned. Yep, it just it doesn't doesn't stay with him. So we'll have to leave Fickard here from now on, I think. I guess that means all of the soldiers have to reclaim bedrooms when they get home. That's gotta suck. Like, this should be Relic's room, but I'm guessing now it's not. So we'll, uh, I'm not going to bother assigning it to him. Because he's going to be going straight back out on a raid. But I think this time, he's going to take um, the third squad with him. Instead of the the guards. Like, what is this here? We're, what were these guys, right? Yeah, so let's raid these people. And we'll send the Armoured Conjurers and the Chambers of Trammeling. There we are. Now again, this is just a, a basic raid to try and steal this stuff. We're not asking for um, eradication of the goblins. But these are all just practice runs for uh, Relic to get his skills, skills up. So that when the time does come to eradicate the goblins, he is ready and on point. Obviously, it's going to take a long time for the Sea Squad to get up out here and onto the map. But I think with how long they've been underground, they probably also have cave sickness. So just be prepared for long trails of vomit to the edge of the map. How are we doing on food and stuff? Oh, we're fine. We are more than fine. Has anyone's stuff changed? I'm looking for actual jobs that would maybe, like, not be assigned to a person, but it looks like for now, the auto labor isn't working. And you know, I haven't actually seen any tantrums in a, in a hot minute, so maybe we just turn automatic job assignments off. head on down to the production level here. It's been a while since I've checked on uh, how much honey we have. Apparently none. There's our ballista bolts. But I think I am going to go ahead and try and make this ballista one level up. It would be really weird if it couldn't travel up and down Z levels. So, build big sea floor. Let's hope that uh, I can build a ballista on top of the floor. Lots of training bolts being made, but I don't see too many of these guys actually training with uh, bolts. Wait, does that guy have a bow? A copper bow, yeah. Stinhad. I'm fairly sure that you actually can't use that, but you know what? You do you, buddy. I'll buy him some arrows when we get more visitors. Dwarves typically won't use regular bows if you're running in fortress mode, but if they arrive with one, they'll use it. We can't actually make arrows though. I still don't believe we can. I believe we can only make bolts. If we can make arrows, I'll have 
You know, we can only make bolts. What about the boyette? Can you make arrows? No? Craft dwarf? No? Nope, just bolts. So, uh, I know with the masterwork mod you can make arrows, but I wasn't sure if that was a, um, base game feature, if that was masterwork only. Masterwork is another kind of launcher and giant mod collection. So it's um, similar-ish to the Lazy Noob pack, but it comes with a lot more content. Now we're going to make a ballista, but we're probably also going to... On the, the top, up there where the fortifications are, we might make a catapult as well. So we can play around with siege equipment and see how they work. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down here to our production level. We're going to find our... Uh, yep. Let's construct some catapult parts. That sounds cool, isn't it? This is all ballista arrows. Assemble wooden ballista arrow. Is that a wooden ballista arrow or just... Oh, never mind, we don't need it. We're going to make a bunch of catapult parts. I'm assuming they're made from wood. How are you doing? Got plenty of clothes being made, which is pretty nice. The guards are here now, so we should see less tantrums, or at least we'll see um, justice assigned to them. Farms are going well. I think once spring rolls around, we should get a nice bit of growth down here, too. I was thinking about expanding this place more, like up this way, and definitely down here, but... We can leave that for a later time. No job. Ah, he's been storing things in stockpiles, I see. These guys must be done with uh, mining for now. But that's a okay. Looks like even though the um, second squad was originally assembled to be archers and they have the uniform for it, they are just as competent with um, their melee weapons as they are with their ranged. Which is fine. That's actually a good thing. It means they're less likely to just get absolutely punked out and we're, uh, we're okay leaving them as the only guardians of the fortress. Welders has been found at half a day's travel to the west and incorporated into your holdings. I have no idea what that means. I mean, it falls under my, um... My nobles now, right? Like, I... My, uh... My count? A champion? Well, I think once... Once, uh, Relic gets back, we can make him a champion. How cool is that? Okay, you just want robes. That's as long as it's not going to dethrone. Yeah, once he gets back, we can make... Um, what's the hammerer? I don't even know what that, that post is, but we're definitely going to make Relic our champion when he gets back. Anything down in the caves? What's a giant ulm? Well, it seems to be in the water, whatever it is. So it's either a fish or it's dead. No problem. Bunch of guys bringing all the wood in. Yeah, things are looking good. This is basically um, how the downtime goes between episodes. There's been about as much time on this fortress spent off camera as on it. Although, now that we are doing raids, we'll, um, I'll be keeping those on camera as much as I can. Petitions available. 
Entertaining citizens and visitors, yes. I would love to have guests with the sole purpose of keeping us happy. Our cool little inn with its uh, divider walls there. I really do like that building. Now then, these yaks and pigs. We definitely need to get more on the milking. Like, we haven't done nearly enough of that. Let's uh, add these as orders. Milk animal in perpetuity. And shear animal in perpetuity. And then we'll have to spin thread in perpetuity as well. There we are. So that should go okay once the druids get around to it. Are druids assigned to that? I think they are. You do like shearing and stuff, right? No, oh, I thought the druids were already responsible for this. Where's milking? No, no, they're already assigned for uh, milking and cheese making, but they weren't assigned to uh, shearing. So we definitely want all of those yaks to be used. Oh, nice. Does that mean we've made... Yes, we have made some catapult parts. So let's go up here and see if we can figure something out with siege weapons, eh? So let's build... Uh... Is it just this as like siege traps maybe? No. Uh, siege engines. Is I. Let's go for a ballista. Need three ballista parts. Okay. Let's go for a catapult. Need three catapult parts. Guess I'm not done with those. Uh, construct ballista parts. So we'll, uh, we'll try out the differences between them. Human swordsman is visiting. That is A-OK. -okay. You do you, buddy. The giant Ulm is fighting. Oh, it must be fighting the Forgotten Beast. Yeah, the Forgotten Beast just absolutely annihilated it. I wonder if the Forgotten Beast has actually taken any more damage yet. It appears to have moved onto a new section of the map. Let's take a look at his wounds. Nope, don't appear to be any fresh ones. We're definitely not going to go try and start any bother with him right now. We only have the B team. I'm actually surprised that uh, the other guys aren't back yet, but I guess it did take them a while this time. And somebody else is throwing a tantrum and there is vomit everywhere. The vomit is probably contributing to people having a tantrum. Not exactly pleasant. You know, I think we're going to order mind out these two sections here. A stray cat has been found dead. I'm not sure if it died of old age. We've been here for, um, I think four or five years now in game. Which, as far as the fortress goes, is pretty solid. A lot of them fail in the first year or two, or they go on for, like, decades until some random event finishes them off. Giant Cardinal? What? Oh, well, that's two of our guys fighting again. And it looks like one of them killed the cat. Nobody in hospital, though, so it can't have been that bad of a confrontation. And if we go to Justice here... Oh, Fickard was a witness... Yeah, we'll convict that legionnaire. Just to I've seen Kib's name far too many times and not to put him in jail for what he's done at least once. Now then. Let's go up to the top here. Build I Let's go for a catapult. Noise. Let's see how long that takes. From 
from what I understand, catapults use, um... But was it like a direction I had to put that in, or...? Didn't look like it. You know, I'm just gonna quickly remove that, and I'm gonna take a look at this a bit better. So build, I ah, siege engine. Catapult. Yeah, no, there was no direction chosen, so I guess... I'll put that in the middle there, actually. And then they use stone as, uh, as ammunition, so we'll just put a set of stockpiles there so it can load up, what's that, like nine shots? No, that's 11 shots. We'll have to assign someone to um, siege operating. We should get some more migrants at some point, so we can get on that. Could not find path to ballista parts. Well, that's weird. It's okay though. It's not a not a big issue. I now can't see a thing because my cat has decided to stand in front of the screen. But that's fine. I don't need to see. The game hasn't paused itself, so nothing too tragic can even have happened yet. I've seen at least uh, one or two people come up here with parts for this catapult. Looks like he's back, but that must have only been the second trip. I'm really looking forward to seeing what this looks like in this uh, tile set, actually. That stumbling around obliviously seems to happen a lot. And then I think uh, down in this bit, let's go check see if all the ballista parts are done. No, we need one more part, and then we need them to go put it in a stockpile. But we know that we have ballista ammo. I'll have to figure out what it is to stockpile those. But I think we're going to build a ballista. Need three ballista parts. So we're not done with that yet, okay. You mustn't have stored them yet. Oh, nice, that looks rad. Change orientation, or... Oh. Ah, there we are. So now we have that, uh... Rad catapult up there. And then on this level... Build a ballista. And I guess it's gonna be the same thing, right? That's gonna be inside the walls, though, isn't it? Because that's the top of the walls there. If I were to put something there it wouldn't work okay so we'd have to have the ballista on this same level so I think we're not we probably won't bother with the ballista there we'll try and build its own tower maybe on this side I don't know, we'll have to figure something out for that um, the ram is fine so, so this all processor just keeps going around and beating up our animals bit of a dick but hey we have a catapult now which is just rad as hell. Is that Galena? Are we going to throw unprocessed silver at our enemies? Because I'm going to be honest, I am okay with that. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to go and assign to our serfs. Where are they? All processors. Don't believe that's a thing I even have. I have furnace attendants and serfs. They must have been in a migrant wave that I've missed. Or they were uh, new people. There's our bard, which is just cool as hell. We have 12 children now. I 
I do really like that we have a catapult sitting on top of here. Our squads aren't back. That's starting to worry me a little bit now. So it seems like um, nothing major happens when we get towns assigned to us. That's a new mechanic since I returned to the game, so I'm not entirely sure what uh, what that entails. But it is pretty cool to see. I wonder if ballistas can fire through fortifications. Because if they could, we could fit one here. We could just deconstruct this wall, construct fortifications, put a ballista there. It would only need one, for one fortification there, actually. You know what? I'm willing to give that a try. I'm willing to give that a try. We're going to set this to a number one priority because we want this done very quickly. This will be really cool if this works. It means we'd have the catapult on top of the tower lobbing like stone over at people. And then behind the wall, just with this gap just thin enough to fit a bolt through, we'd have our ballistas. Well, our one ballista. I wonder if we can test fire these things. Like, how do you practice as a siege engineer? Which is a point I needed to assign that to my serfs. Serfs, uh, siege operator. In fact, we we had one or two good ones. I'm go not going to turn this on for everyone. I'm going to keep the guys who already have some kind of skill level in it. There we are. Not everyone is created equal, even among the peasant class. So let's get a, a fortification there. We're going to go for slate blocks. And then we are going to build a ballista. How cool is that? And then I guess we're going to build a stockpile. We're going to have to build it custom. I'm going to have to disallow all of this outright. Just absolutely everything. And then we're going to have to... Uh, forbid, forbid. Furniture and siege ammo. Yeah, this won't work, will it? Because it wants type uh. We need to go down until we find ballista bolts. But I don't see ballista bolts. There's arrow heads. And there's parts, but that's it. Huh. Well, in that case, I guess we won't put a stockpile there. They'll just have to track up this stuff from the bottom. As long as they have one of these loaded, it should be okay. There's the fortification done. Now we just have to wait for them to build the uh, ballista itself. Can we like test fire this? No, I don't think we can. Hmm. So I think what we're gonna have to do is uh, wait for another siege, get everyone inside, get the gates closed, undo the um, burrow once that's happened so that we can use our siege equipment and see how that works out. Our military is still out on their raid. I'm looking forward to having them home. Seeing what they managed to get for us from this fortress. Maybe they're being slowed down because half of C squad can't walk. Giant cardinal? Not a bird. Yeah, it's a bird. I don't think a bird is going to be much of a threat to us. And if they are, we have the, the archers. So we should be able to um, deal with them. 
Lots of trees around. How are we doing for wood down in the fort? Do we need to chop down any more yet? Ah, no, we should be fine for now. Huh. I guess he's out on the raid and is starving and dehydrated after what should have been a single day's trip. Hopefully he gets back in time to eat and drink. I assumed that they'd taken provisions with them. Or is he down in the jail and because none of the... No, he's not in the jail. Hmm. And let's take a look here. Oh, we've lost one of the armored conjurers. Not sure if that had happened before. Unless that was the one who just starved to death, maybe? We'll have to wait for those guys to get back and see what the deal is. We have some bug bats down in the caves. And a giant cave toad. Looks like that might actually be somewhat near the Forgotten Beast, which we should probably check up on, seeing as he, uh... Yeah, no, it looks like he's just found another... Wait. That's one of our humans. Yeah, I think that means that there's now a way to this guy. If we were to dig up for him. Once we've got all the squads back, we might do that. We might try and set them loose so we can kill them. Okay, what do you want us to build, Mr. Noble? You want ballista. We just made ten of those. You absolute turd burger. Ballista arrows are such a useless thing. Because I'm fairly sure that um, even with yeah with with CG arrows, I'm fairly sure you get them back after you fire them. I don't think you have to like remake them every time like you do with bolts. I think you just get to keep them. I think they're very very difficult to actually break. I've only seen a single video on ballistas, and it was one of Krug Smashes, and essentially- wow, that guy runs. Cave Crocodiles fighting the beast, I think. But the Cave Crocodile got its, uh... It got wrecked, is basically what we're gonna say there. Let's go take a look at our Forgotten Beast here. Have you picked up any more wounds? It has. It's got a, a wounded upper body now as well. I don't think they're bad wounds. I think they're just basic little scars. Interrupted by a honey badger. Squad B. Kill from list. We have to go kill the honey badger. Because it's interrupting people. Oh wow, is it actually like fighting? It is as well. Holy crap! The honey badger's just wandering into my fort trying to kill people. Although it seems like the honey badger is just getting. Oh. Yeah, that honey badger did not have a good time. Its upper torso got uh, kicked into an unrecognizable pile of gore by one of the druids. Still no sign of our. Uh... Soldiers coming home though. Construction initiated on the ballista. I'm guessing we're just waiting for that then. Oh, that might be a guy there. I think it is. See how this looks when it's built. That build? Oh, you had to move the cat. Okay. Wait. I think. I think that's pointing outwards. It would be nice if we got like, ah, oh, yeah, facing down. Not in use. 
I wonder how we put those in use then. I'll definitely have to have a look at that in between episodes. We are just waiting on... Uh, waiting on our squads getting home from this final raid. Hopefully it's not going to be too much longer. Nearly a day's travel to the southwest. So our dwarven civilization is really going ham here on expanding towards these goblins. I wonder if we've had any impact on that. Because our our fort is like super rich and has been here for like five years. So maybe because of the way we've prospered, things are going well, eh? Not in use, but how do I change action? Prepare to fire facing down. Fire at will facing down. I'm going to go for prepare to fire facing down. Because I feel like if I tell them to fire at will. That they are going to. Um, actually fire. And I assume that means that the ballista bolt is just going to be either destroying my wall. Or flying down at random intervals hitting my dwarves. Either of those seem like bad outcomes. Can I look on the map and see how far away my uh, guys are? What's that there? Nope. I guess I just have to keep waiting. What if I go to the military here and... Nope. Squads. A. Z. <laughs> Center on the selected squad. I guess we do just have to uh, sit and wait, but I may cut out that wait for you folks, because it looks like it might be a while. I'll bring you back in time to uh, see what the rewards were from that raid, but until then, until then. Alright, so the game was paused for literally like 10 seconds, no, sorry, the recording was paused for literally like 10 seconds and these guys got back. So let's take a look at our mission report here. Okay, so it looks like this was no easy feat this time. I'm seeing a lot of um, goblins struck down, so let's take a look at what this actually says. In midwinter of 73, the coincidental board attacked the brass scourge of the terrible poisons of at uh, Realm Black. The dwarf relic Furnace Strong led the attack, and the defenders were led by the goblin Wawana Hardy Saves. In midwinter of 73, the dwarf relic Furnace Strong outmatched the Goblin Moana with a cutting plan and the attackers had a strong positional advantage in Realm Black. The Dwarf Mezbuth happened upon the Goblin Togi taxed something or other. Oh god. Uh, taxed release's head was ripped off by the Dwarf Mebzoth. Uh, the Goblin Togi was struck down. Yeah, no, that seems like it. Uh, the Dwarf Asin cornered a Goblin Lafari. Was struck down. Looks like this was a lot of good stuff on ours. Oh, the goblin Wawana Hardy Saves right arm was smashed by the dwarf Zephon. And then right cheek was smashed. Nice. So Zephon Ink Crux killed the goblin general. And then the, ch uh, the chambers of Trammeling, led by the dwarf Ilral Relic Blot. Huh. He's got relics in him. Clashed with four goblins, slaying them. And we looted. So let's see what we got from that. Uh, a silver scourge, which is like a whip. A zinc cage, 25 copper bolts, one iron scourge, one copper toy axe, one giant cave spider silk bag, an iron anvil, swan leather water skin, two copper high boots, nice, male shirt, gremlin leather bag, and rusus macaque leather gloves. All of that is pretty dope. There's that one dwarf carrying a, a ballista bolt, which is like three times the size of a dwarf. 
I will at some point figure out how that works, but not right now. Looks like we do have a couple of injuries. Let's head down to the hospital and see how many. Who is that who's injured there? That's just a serf who is unconscious and looks like uh, he took a bit of a beating. What are the Medikai doing? Medikai, Medikai. Diagnose patient. Go, Medikai, go. I do quite like having the, uh, the hospital in place. When I first picked up Dwarf Fortress, I wouldn't really bother with hospitals. I would just let my dwarves die and be horribly maimed on a constant basis. They tended to get upset about it. Okay, so are you just kind of... I know, yet yeah, we've got that uh, ready to fire now. How dope is that? Does that mean... Oh, looks like we're loading the catapult up too. Of course, we don't know how these work yet. And it looks like it takes a long ass time to load a catapult. Like a really long time. We have a human bard visiting, that's quite nice. I'm really pleased that we keep stealing armor from these goblins as well. I doubt it's good quality. But just the fact that we're stealing it makes me pretty happy. What do we have here? A Medikai is... Oh. The hell happened to Avos? He's not even on here. The hell happened to this guy? That's, um, wounds. Yeah, it looks like he's just missing a bunch. Let's go, um, units, search, avos, view. Oh, no. So this is a little bit, um, health. Ability to grasp somewhat impaired. Looks like he just has sutures and what have you. Apparently, it's not actually that bad. Maybe he's just got a bunch of scars then. But it seemed like that stuff was just gone. Like he was missing a bunch of his limbs. Utesh, how are you doing? Looks like you're still stuck. Like I say, if we wanted to, we could link ourselves up to Utesh. I don't know why we would. But it's possible. How far down does this pick go? Down to 36. That's our level. And then there's another cave up here. This is probably the deep pit we found. So uh, if we were to dig up some stairwells, we could get ourselves a fight with a forgotten beast. Who is waiting for us. And we'll probably get to that uh, maybe next episode or worst case the one after. But for now, that looks like another successful raid. Having lost a single dwarf. I'm not actually sure if we lost it on this raid, because it didn't mention anything. Although I would like to get Rith better equipment. I feel Rith being the 10th man is weird, because the guy is actually really good. Let's take a look at him, actually. Uh, there he is. Let's view Rith. Let's see what kills Rith has. Uh, he's killed one giant cave spider and one crundle. Bunch of familial relations here in the fort. Including his younger brother being in the... Uh, in one of the squads as a legionnaire. And he's never been wounded. The guy is just that good. But folks, I think we are going to... Uh, end this episode off here with another bard joining the fortress as usual thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.